Your lack of knowledge on the Bindo period and the tales of the Beowulf in such of the sagas like all of Norse history and mythology is leaving me very displeased with many of you, my brethren and sisters. I ask you, do you know the sagas? If that is true that you do know, then we must test your knowledge. Otherwise, you must face the blade. <laughs> This is the Order. Welcome back to the Order. I'm Celtic Templar, and yes, y'all, we are talking about a new set of helmets. This bad boy I have acquired from a group on Estee.com. This group is Medieval Armor UK. I will leave a link to their group down below in the description if any of y'all are looking for a good Vindle style period helmet. This kind of costs around nearly a thousand bucks, so yeah, it's a little costly, I know, but it is technically well worth it. Now, uh, the reason I'm not taking this off mostly right now is because of the fact, uh, while wearing this, it's, uh, kind of hard to put back on because of the mail. I'll show you why soon. Uh, but this is actually the Visgard 8 Viking helmet, or as I like to call it, the Vindel helmet. And in such, this is just a perfect type of helmet. It is made out of either 18 to 16 gauge, uh, steel and brass. So, and as well, even comes with some riveted mail. Now, the group that makes this, this is made by Handmade, it only comes in one size, uh, so yeah. Now I want to put this out here, y'all. This helmet is perfect for anyone who is into Vindel style period helmet, or if they're into the Beowulf sagas, or anything out there and such, so pretty much anything of the Migration Era period, so this is just perfect for their helmet. And in such, there's a huge difference compared to this one and compared to other uh, groups. Now, on SDA.com they have hundreds of other groups. I just went with this one because I found out it was kind of the best price at the time, so yeah. Now, uh, I want to put this out here, y'all. The design on it is a lot different uh, when you receive it than when you take a look in the uh, pictures. In fact, the pictures look like this compared to this, but technically that's uh, kind of, well, thought it would actually look like that. Anyway, this is a perfect type of helmet and I love it. Now, with this helmet, it is huge in head size because this big bubble area, uh, if any of y'all, if, if the uh, groups from over there is even watching my videos, uh, I have to say you might want to actually put this a bunch of arming caps in here because this liner that's in here apparently, it's kind of like, uh, I want to say it's like something I would see from like uh, eBay groups, so not exactly the best. So uh, yeah, they might want to actually just use uh, arming caps. In fact, I had used arming caps inside this thing. Like literally, I just put, took like a couple of arming caps and just put them in there. So just put a bunch of padding and such and so like that, and then just use a regular arming cap to wear it. Now, the male design problem, there is a major problem with this upon putting it on, is because of the fact on how the male is worn on this helmet, which I do love it still, and this thing is perfectly badass, because literally, uh, the male, it tapers to the type of design like it would have during the Vindal Sagas, or the Middle Periods. And I, well, what I really do love is the fact on this beautiful design with the brass and this, uh, sheet metal, that of which is stamped on the main part of the helmet. Now, uh, this is really cool because they did their job at trying to make it look as Vindal-esque or uh, Migration Era period as possible. Uh, nasal guard looks a little thin, but mm, still though, it is kind of actually impressive how correct they got this. Now, it is also really cool with this design serpent head on the front. I love that, and as well, it's also on the back. Uh, as y'all can see for this entire design, this thing is just beautiful for anyone who is into uh, Vindal style migration era type reenactments and such like that. So it has this beautiful crest of the Jormungand serpent, as well, I, I believe this was Jormungand, if I, I create, believe. Uh, but yes, this does mean I will hopefully get into the Vindal sagas, 
of Migration Era period of how-to videos, if none of y'all have ever seen my how-to videos, uh, I suggest y'all see one of my most famous one, I think it would be the House Carl, and, and such. Uh, I hopefully will be doing something near identical to that with this. Is and such, the Migration Period is kind of one of my favorites in the Dark Ages. I don't know why. It's like, because when it comes to history especially, uh, I am a major sucker for the Vindal Period. Uh, reason, now, none of y'all know how the Vindal Period is. The Vindal Period is known as the Migration Era for a reason. Because of the fact, this is when many Germanic tribes, or Scandinavian, whatever you pronounce them as, pretty much started to migrate to many parts of, well, the former Roman Empire. Especially in the West. We see the uh, famous Vandals, the Goths, the Astrogoths and such. However, one of the most later on famous and such would actually be those who took control after, such as the Franks, the Lombards, the Angles, the Saxons, the Jutes. So in such, there are a lot of groups, but in such, this is one of them I love. Now, this is actually based on a historical find, I believe, was found in England. Uh, and in such, it is really cool. Now, there is actually a group that uh, actually does do their um, own little design. Which, what I mean by design is that they uh, did a little bit of Sutton Who helmets and such. Which I will leave a link down below if any of you want to see them. They have actually do a very good job. In fact, when I mean good job, I mean a great job, actually, is the correct term I want to say. Because that stuff is really cool. Because Migration Era armor and equipment is as beautiful, it's badass, and every time I think of the tales of Beowulf, I'm always thinking of something like that, or something like this type of helmet, with something like a Sutton Who sword or something like that. Which, it's actually stated that Beowulf might have been a real person. However, it's uh, not known. But the thing is, uh, the major thing is, this would be the type of armors and armor that we would see in the Beowulf sagas. The swords and armors would be glinting with decorated design, and in such would gleam with light. Now, that's actually something really cool, and I'm always a fan of the Beowulf saga. And so was one of my favorite uh, novelists, none other than J.R.R. Tolkien. And yes, I am a major J T Tolkien fan. Because the fact is, he got many people to actually start reading Beowulf sagas. In which, you gotta imagine, he, in fact, he was actually incredibly inspired by historical arms and armor that was found like this. And you gotta admit, this is beautiful. I mean, uh, Medieval Armor UK, you all did your damn great job. Uh, now... There was a slight bit of a problem with the shipping because of COVID issues and such, uh, and manufacturing issues because of COVID. Uh, however, these guys are in UK and such, and they do their damn best job, and they did. Now, if any of y'all want to buy this, I, as I said, I will leave a link down in the description for any of y'all who want to buy this group. And as well, help them out, because right now they are kind of suffering because of the COVID problem, and they're trying to get back up and running. Uh... I've actually taken a look at some of their stuff, and they do have some really good stuff on there. Uh, and as well, I did promise them that I will hopefully get many of y'all to uh, check out their uh, type group on sday.com. Now, I want to put this out here, y'all. When it came to COVID, we actually had lost a bunch of groups, especially for this type of stuff. So, and some really good homemade, handmade type stuff. And unfortunately, we then had to deal with some, uh, well, we then had to try and do it all ourselves, which some, a lot of times it doesn't end well. So, yeah. But anyways, I highly advise many of y'all to check them out. In fact, I know a guy in Australia that of which will be more than happy to have one of these bad boys. In fact, dude, if you're watching, you know you gotta get one of these. And in such, these are just beautiful. Now, uh, pretty much though, if none of you all know how or what timeline this would have actually taken place with this type of helmet, this would have actually taken place sometime when the Kingdom of Wales was, or uh, the people of Britain were starting to become the Kingdom of Wales because they were being pushed out further on. In fact, there's actually the famous uh, poem or story of King Arthur, who of which are uh, Auxilius Tarparis and such, 
So there are many names for him, so I'm just going to stick with Arthur because it's a little easier for me to pronounce. And in such, he would have fought against people like wearing this. And in fact, I know I hear many people already Templar. If you're going to be, a, if you're a major Welshman, and such, if you really are, you should not be using this. <laughs> well, I may have Welsh in my bloodline, but as well, I also do have, I have many type of Scandinavian, I as well have Saxon and other Celtic blood, and in such, we have to understand that, uh, well, pretty much, there is a lot of Germanic in me, but you see my point. But the thing is, the history behind this, it's just beautiful. We have to know this, down to the fact, it is beautiful beyond measure. Now, if any of y'all have any suggestions I should talk about on this, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to take a look and see if I can get a said item for this time. But, uh, yeah, this thing is just beautiful, and... I highly recommend anybody to buy this beautiful helmet, because this thing is just awesome beyond measure. But anyways guys, hopefully you like this, like and subscribe for more, and as well click the bell button for more notifications, and as well check out sd.com to get one of these badass helmets. As well guys, hopefully see you all in the next one, and have a great day. Mm -hmm.